and gentlemen, our fourth bout of the evening is actually for three three-minute rounds in a super lightweight contest between Shamil Aminov and Mahdi Hamucha. Our fourth fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, the UAE K1 comeback. Three wins by card. Shamil Aminov versus Mehdi. Hamucha. Ladies and gentlemen, bringing on your first fighter to the ring. He fights out of the red corner, coming in with an official height of 171 centimeters, weighing in at 62 kgs. He has a professional record of one win and no losses. Representing TK MMA, fighting out of Saddam Khan, Uzbekistan, it's Shamil Zukarnai Aminov! From Fez, Morocco, it's Mahdi, Junior Wolf, Hamucha! And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mahdi Hamucha, 21 years old, weighing in at 62 kilograms, and he's quite tall. Final instruction to the kickboxers. Guys, we are you are professional. Okay, hands up. Not okay. according to Mehdi. <laughs> no elbow. That's it. Go back. <laughs> Mehdi says no. Shamil is not professional. <laughs> and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to see who is the more professional fighter here, and it begins round one. Wow. Shamil coming in aggressive with that hook straight away. Mehdi comfortable throwing that jab. Inside thigh kick. Oh, what a beautiful kick 
Beautiful to me, just but he timed it perfectly there, man. Nice low kick. Mehdi's got some speed, some serious speed on him. Very confident fighter. Nice front push kick. Those are scary. Look at that medium kick lands. It looks like Shamil's still trying to figure him out. How am I going to break that, you know, reach barrier? We could clearly see. Look at that medium kick lands beautifully there by Mehdi. I mean, he does have that reach advantage. Nice knee there. He did catch him with that straight right, but didn't do really any damage. Stop you there a little bit. It looks like oh, nice kick there. Blocks that. Nice low kick, swift stab. It looks a little bit to me like Mehdi just standing there waiting for Shamil to come in. Nice push kick there. He's like, what was that? Yeah, hey, hey. gives him a warning. He's like, yo, I did say stop, break. This is the second time I'm missing. Wow, look at the speed on that low kick, man. This guy, man, he's dangerous. He's like, no. Shakes his head, no. And he shakes his head, no again. He's like, no. He didn't hurt me. Oh, come there. Straight right in the chin. Oh, nice, swift that Mehdi, nicely there. Oh, he caught him there with that nice sword. Caught him there with that uppercut. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful combination there by Shamil. And the first round is over. Wow, that was incredible. That was just incredible. Man, so much action in the first round. I mean, it cannot get any better than this. I love how after Shamil threw that uppercut, just looked at him like, are you going to say no now? Look at that low kick landed. Shamil's like, yeah, I'll let it go. Almost caught him there. Look at that. Boom, caught him there with that right. Misses. Barely hits with that right. High kick, he swifts under that kick. I mean, wow, what kind of action is this? We don't, we don't expect to see this kind of incredible action, at least not from the prelim guard. But we are seeing it. We are experiencing it firsthand, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like seconds out already. I'm so anxious right now. I want to see what round two is going to look like. <laughs> and here we go. Oh. Okay, please. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna give him a warning. You know what? I respect the referees that do that. You know, you gotta be, you gotta be sharp. This is your safety after all. Good call by the referee. Thank you, there, referee. Nice medium kick. Ooh, high kick. Close there. Wow, that low kick, man. I felt that low kick for Shamil. Mehdi is moving in this round. What is Shamil gonna do? Oh, nice catch there with that straight right. Wow, that is dangerous. This guy jumps with knees and like throws all sorts of kicks and stuff. Ah, beautiful medium kick. He says level low kick, he's like, do that left hand punch and then right kick, low kick. Stop. 
Yeah, he kind of like. Yeah. Good call on the referee. What a smart, sharp referee there. Eyes wide open. Shabir <laughs> raises his hand like, dude, you just got me in the hand. Don't sell it. I can't, I still can't figure out what is going to happen here. It looks like they're both aggressive. They're both still trying to figure each other out. Medium knee. Bye, Mehdi. I don't really see Shama using his kicks much here. Very smart fighter there, Mehdi. Swifts really beautifully. Swifts, swifts, and then holds his opponent. Very smart, like... It's not always about punching and kicking, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of technique behind it. A lot of character behind it, a lot of building up behind it. Nice jab, low kick, lands there. Oh, very comfortable there. Yeah, the referee says don't hold the leg. Ooh, what a beautiful straight right by Shamil. That landed, ladies and gentlemen. I saw that. Stop. And it's the end of round two. Wow. What a round that was, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? If we've seen that much of action in round one and round two, I can guarantee there's going to be something beautiful to see in round three. Look at that, they're exchanging punches there, back and forth. I can confidently say both fighters are bent on. Look at that, Shamil, it looked like that did hurt a little bit. Oh, he did miss with that. I could say confidently, both fighters are amazing. Both fighters have got good skill. And they're both looking dangerous today. What a good matchup. I mean, whoever did this matchup on the UAE Federation, hats off to you, respect. What a good matchup. Love that attitude in young fighters. Nice speed of Shamil Aminov. Fighter from Uzbekistan. In the red corner versus Mehdi Amjad. In the red Daddy Swift stocks, rolls, moves, anything not to get hit in the face. Smart fighter, man. Nice low kick that landed. Did some damage. Push kick. Half time left of the third round, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we caught him there a couple of times. I think he's going to give him a vote. No, we're going to warning. We'll carry on. He's clinching him like that. No, no verbal warning there either. Checks that. Oh, high kick. 
Kind of like broke the defense, but. Not much happening here. I mean, I, I've got to say, nice straight right there. A lot of clinching happening from K1 fight, to be honest, from Mehdi. Nice high kick. Oh, he did get, did he just get wobbly there a little bit? I think his shin landed on the back of the head of Shamil Amiro. And it's over. The round is over. Wow, the silence in the hall still. <laughs> Everybody's like, ah, we just want to see what the results are. That's the one that he missed. Swift's that. Caught him there. Caught him there again. And there. Caught him there. Look at that. No, not that last one, no. Ooh. Ooh. Caught each other, man. Nice. Well, I've got to say, uh, I would have broken the distance a little bit differently than Shamil did. But it looks like to me, like, Mehdi knew exactly what he was doing. The way he swifts and moves his head like that. Very smart. Gives them a round of applause. Gives him a hug. Confident young fighter. Mehdi, very talented. Very strong. Dangerous fighter. Moves his head. Throws those kicks. Lightning speed like. Shamil's got some like incredible boxing on him, man. He's got some good boxing skills. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, out okay, the three, three, three minute rounds in a super lightweight K1 division contest. We go to the scorecards. Judge one has ruled in favor of Shamil Amenov, red. That's one Judge Shamil. two has ruled in favor of Ah Mahdi Hamucha, blue. One and me. Judge three has ruled in favor of your winner by split decision, Mahdi Jumamir Wolf Hamucha. And the winner is Mahdi. I kind of expected that, ladies and gentlemen. It looked like he got the scoring a little bit more. And now we'd like Late to bring in smart. Representative Fahad al Abdulli, the Director of Sports for the UAE well Kickboxing deserved. and Muay Thai Federation, to present the award. Good job there on the win. Mahdi, you had just a split decision win. It was very close to the wire. What do you want to tell people at home? Actually, the fight it was really nice. And uh, I mean, oh, it was a great fire. By the way, I want to thank my family, the Tiger Boxing, and Mehdi, and all my gym. And I want to thank my coach in Morocco, Mohamed Wishmi, and the Amusha family. Thank you, first, for Evolve! Hamdi Hamucha, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Congratulations, well done to Mehdi. What a good fight that was. Played it smart. Moving on to the next one, ladies and gentlemen.